Hello guys, welcome to this lesson. In this lesson, we are coming to study logical reasoning. In our previous video, I introduced this topic to you. So, if you have not watched it, I will advise you to watch it before you proceed to this video. Okay. So, in this video, I'm going to throw more light on the logical operators. Okay. So, there are five basic logical operators. We have the not operator. We have the AND operator, we have the OR operator, the implication and the by implication. Okay, so um, this NOT operator, we call it negation. Okay, we call it negation, that is the NOT operator. And this operator is called binary operator. We call it binary operator. Binary operator. And the remaining operators, they are called binary binary operators. They are called binary operators or connectives. Okay, connectives. The not operator is called binary operator because you can just perform it on a simple state. Okay, that is you can perform it on just one state. But the remaining operators, they are called binary operators or connectives because we can perform them on two or more statements. Okay, that's why we call them binary operators or connectives. Okay, so um, the negation, the negation operator, um, we will be given a simple statement. Let's say simple statement P. Let's say Kofi. Uh, is a boy. Okay. So when we have this statement and we are to we are told to perform the not operator on this statement become that is not P because that's the negation. So the negation of this statement will be Kofi is not a boy. Kofi is not a boy. Okay, so that's for the negation. Let's move on to the next logical operator this is called conjunction logical conjunction okay logical conjunction that is the and operator that's the and operator okay we can perform this operator on two statements okay on two statements okay so um let's as if we have two statements, P and Q. Let's say P is Godfrey, sorry. Godfrey likes eating. That's one statement. And another statement, Tracy likes sleeping. Okay. So performing the AND operator on these two statements, we get um, P and Q. Okay, this statement becomes Godfrey. Godfrey likes eating. And okay, that is the operator. And Tracy. Tracy likes sleeping okay that is the word and operator then let's move on to the next logical operator this is called all operator the all operator and it is also known as the logical the junction okay logical the junction that is the all operator that's the all operator okay so let's Consider these two statements, okay? This same statement. So when we perform the OR operator on these two statements, it becomes P or Q. This is the same as Godfrey. Godfrey lies eating. Or that is the operator, okay? Or Tracy likes sleeping Godfrey likes eating or Tracy likes sleeping okay so that is for the logical disjunction then the next one is 
implication logical implication that is the symbol okay so when you have two statements p and q okay so this is when you perform this operator or these two, these two statements becomes p implies q there are so many ways of pronouncing this logical statement okay so we have p implies q we also have if p then q we have p only if q we have m um, p is sufficient for q we have q is necessary for p and we have p whatever q okay so there are so many ways of pronouncing this logical expression okay so um let's use these two statements okay so this is also known as the conditional statement the implication is also known as the conditional statement okay so um Let's assume uh, P is girlfriend likes it in and Q stands for Tracy likes sleeping. So P implies Q. So let's use this one. Okay, the if then statement. Okay, so this becomes if P. Okay, so P is so if girlfriend if girlfriend likes eating if girlfriend likes eating then 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 Q, Q is what? Tracy, sorry, Tracy, Tracy likes sleeping. Okay. That's quite simple. Okay, then let's move on to the last logical operator. We call it um, by implication. By implication. By implication okay so and you have two statements p and q p and q this when you perform this operator of these two statements becomes okay so this pronounced as as um, p if and only if q or p if Q okay, so that is P if and only if Q okay. So let's use these two statements okay. So P, P stands for so P by implies Q P P stands for girlfriend likes eating so girlfriend girlfriend likes eating okay. If and only if so you bring it if and only if then Q Q stands for Tracy likes sleeping. Okay, I hope you get it. So we have Tracy likes sleeping. Tracy likes sleeping. Okay. So these are the five basic logical operators. So in our next video, we are going to study how to construct the truth table using these logical operators. Thank you very much. Once again, I'm Kodiya Dugo for the 10 year BSc Mathematics student of Army Improvement University of Science and Technology, Ghana, West Africa.